Hey gorgeous people, happy Tuesday. How are you? It's April from Mama Loves Food. And we're gonna cook. What? I know, we're running a little bit late. I say that every week. Like, I don't know why we don't just start at nine. But we just, we, I mean, we do start at nine, but I don't know why I don't officially say it. But anyway, anyway, what I'm trying to say is, hi, welcome. I am so glad you're here. We don't have Kelly tonight. Kelly, unfortunately, and her brood are not feeling well. So we're gonna have to muck through it by ourselves. But I think we can do it. I think we're gonna be okay. And I'm excited. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this up so I can see, I can see that people are commenting. But I can't see what you're saying because my eyes aren't that good. So, you know. Excuse the dripping water sound. I'm not peeing under this table. It is my husband is getting a drink. There he is. Okay. Just pull up. There we are. <clears throat> There's our comments. All right. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Robin. Hi, Kendra. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Luann. Hi, Renea. How are you gorgeous people? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and hop over here and do the sharing. Tonight we are going to do some um, cabbage soup in the um, Instant Pot. We are going to, you look beautiful, Miss Patricia. We're going to do some um, copycat Lara balls. I, I know Lara bars, but we're going to make balls. Um, and then we're going to do some pan roasted garlic. So um, all super simple stuff, all yummy stuff, happy healthy, friendly, yummy, all those good stuff. Okay, so I'm just looking for where we are now on Facebook. There we are, yay. Okay, we're gonna get our shares in. If you guys could do me a super awesome favor and share as well, that would be super amazingly, and I would, I, I can't speak tonight. That would be super amazing and I would be incredibly thankful. Um, Facebook likes it when we share. Hi Sandy, hi Marianne, happy evening to you. Hi from Ontario. Hi, Samantha. Wes says hi to everyone. Um, hey, Connie. What's the pan roasted garlic for? Just for. It's just because. Because I like garlic. Garlic is delicious. Um, you can use it on spreads. You can use it in sauces. You can just smear it on bread. It's delicious. It's so good. You can put it in your... Um, you can put it in your salsa. It's just good. Toss it in your soup. Why does the cabbage soup link go to a soup with no cabbage? Because that's a very good question, Denise. Um, we're going to recipe test on the show tonight. We're going to go ahead and use that recipe as a base. Um, and we're going to use less potatoes. We're going to use no corn. And we're going to add um, cabbage. And we're going to see how it turns out. So good call. Hello, Lori. Where did I get my necklace? This is paparazzi. Everything's five dollars. What? I know. If you want, if you want to see the stuff, um, there is a link in the description. Click my nose, and you'll see all the links. Also, sh if you share this video to your wall, you'll see all the links there as well. It's easier if you share it to your wall, but I know not everybody likes to do that. Okay, we're gonna get this here. I apologize. Kelly's not here, so I'm doing a little bit more than usual. Robin shared. Thank you. Shannon loves garlic. I've never had cabbage soup. It's delicious. Hi, Lori from Texas. Thank you for sharing, Patricia. <laughs> it makes sense, Denise. I love it. I love it. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Kathy from Pittsburgh. Thank you for sharing. Okay, just a little bit more of this garbage. I know. One of these days I'll, um, I'll be able to, I don't know, not do this on my own. But for today, for now, this is how it goes. So make sure you're sharing and then come back and tell me where you're watching from. What are you drinking? What'd you have for dinner tonight? Yo, what did everybody eat? I had, y'all, I had bacon for dinner tonight. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I had bacon. I, um, I ran to the grocery store at dinner time and I had some leftover bacon. <laughs> Garlic is supposed to be good for you to eat for your body every day. Yes, garlic is super healthy, wards away all that terrible sickness and yuckiness. So, yeah, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. And it tastes good. It tastes so good. Hi, Karen. How are you? Samantha had liver and onions. That is one of the few things I don't think I've ever eaten. I mean, I've had liver and I've had onions, but I don't think I've had like liver and onions as a dish. True story. Okay. I think that is all our shares, maybe? That doesn't seem right. Am I doing the keto diet? I'm not doing the keto diet. Hi, Julie! Julie from Bacon, Booze, and Bourbon. Am I getting that right? Go ahead and put your put the name of your site up. 
I think I screwed that up. Bacon, booze, and bourbon, something like that. Something awesome. She sent me cookies once, and we all fought over who got to eat them. Okay. Uh, last one, I'm sorry. Last one, last one, last one. I can't remember if I, sh I shared the quirky mama. Sorry, quirky, if you did. You don't want to eat liver and onions. Why not? Why not? Okay. Is this everything? Okay, now we're going to send the text message out. Those of you who don't get the text message alert, you can get a text message alert when we start for real, and you don't have to watch all this sharing garbage. At um, If you text the phrase follow space live show MLF, that's all one word, to 40404. Meatless spaghetti. Hey, it sounds good. Drinking water from Wisconsin. Is your water from Wisconsin, or are you drinking water while you're in Wisconsin? Uh, okay, text message just went out. Let me know if you get it, guys, because I know we have had a couple um, issues last week. Um, in the last week, I should say. Ah, please work. Okay, there it goes. Donna does not like liver and young onions. Did the Valencia Fitbit buzzed in her pocket? Oh yeah, in your pocket, eh? Okay, are we ready to start? I think we're ready to start. I'm sure I forgot to do some things that Kelly normally does, but we're just gonna go. We're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna start. <gasps> Hannah got the text. Lisa got the text. Karen got the text. Lauren got the text. Summer got the text. Yay! Hi, Miss Michelle. She got her 15-inch skillet. That skillet is amazeballs, you guys. We're doing lacrosse tonight. No, I'm not doing the keto diet. I'm doing the paleo diet right now. Um, and I got hers. This live is all over Facebook. Well, I don't know about that, but it would be great if it was, right? Wouldn't that be fun? Hi, Cassie. Cassie's here. Okay. What was Julie's website? Uh, bread, booze, and bacon, I think. Is that what it is? Bread, booze. Yeah, breadboozebacon.com. Breadboozebacon.com. Okay. Got the text. Valencia wants a LaCroix slushy. Thank you, Summer. It, this is one of the paparazzi necklaces. Five dollars, yo. And it came with earrings. Not these earrings. I mixed and matched. But, okay. So I'm going to, we're going to get started. We're going to do this. So the first one we're going to do is um, a cabbage soup. We're going to use the vegetable soup, our, our um, beef and vegetable soup as a template for it. So you can see I've got my handy dandy. Let's figure out how to make this notebook. Tanya didn't get it. Boo, try setting up again maybe. Um, and I've got a recipe up here. So we're gonna take notes as we go. <laughs> Karen loves cabbage soup. Okay, I love that you love cabbage soup. So we're going to start our cabbage soup. We've got, this is going to be a meat-based cabbage soup. Yum. And some people say cabbage soup is good for weight loss. I don't know if that's true. I have no idea if that's true. But, um, hey, you know what? I'll take it. Why not, right? Where do we go? Sorry, I just lost this again. Y'all, I am having a hard time today, apparently. Um... Okay, my family loves anything with cabbage. I'm going to laugh with Miss Margaret. Okay, so what I'm doing, I have my Instant Pot Electric Pressure Cooker sitting right here. I'm going to turn it to saute, and the bottom's going to get hot just like a saucepan would on a stove. Hello, Miss Annette. Karen says, that is loud, yo. All right, and then we've got our beef stew meat just stew meat i got i've got a pound and a half of stew meat here blend is i put summer sausage and crackers in my cabbage soup one time Ooh, that sounds yummy okay we're gonna say 1.5 pounds of stew meat all right we're gonna let that get hot i'm gonna grab the olive oil right here we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of that just a touch because the meat is gonna have some fat in it and then we've got our salt and pepper instant pots are amazing, you guys. If you want to know all the stuff that I recommend for my kitchen that you see us using all the time, you're going to click over to our gift guide. 
Um, and it's got all the fun stuff. It's got the big pans. It's got the garlic press. It's got all the things we love to use. Um, hold on one second. Okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm I'm used to having Kelly here to help me. Okay. Did I get what? Oh, did one? You're not talking to me. You're not talking to me. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick before we get all knee deep in this stuff. Okay. Your sore throat remedy was amazing. Yay! I'm so glad it helped. I love that stuff. I actually just eat it sometimes when I don't feel bad like I'll go in and sneak a spoonful because it's full of healthy stuff right anyway oh, what was I doing I was that's what I was doing sorry I was gonna give you all the um here we go gift guide the gift guide the gift guide the gift guide and boom check out the gift guide that's gonna have just a list and it's got everything from like the two dollar pan scraper I love to um to the more expensive like the instant pot which is still not very expensive i don't listen i have five kids i ooh, i have five kids i'm not buying super expensive stuff okay so our instant pot is on saute mode it is heating up we're just I'm, i put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom so i'm just kind of moving around you can, can you, i don't know if you can see the steam coming off of it right now hello anthony how are you what video is it where I was crying over the onions? Oh, what was what were we making? Uh, somebody remind us. If Kelly was here, she would know. It was last Tuesday, I believe, that that happened. All right, so we've got our stew meat at the bottom. We're gonna give it a little sear, and then I'm gonna throw the salt and pepper on it. Where's our salt and pepper? There we go. A little bit of salt and pepper. The Instant Pot was the main thing we wanted for Christmas, and we used it two times. I'm telling you, it's great. I use mine all the time. I even taught our babysitter how to use it so she could make the um, eggs for the kids. All right, just a little bit of salt. Hi, Summer. Sweet potato hash. That's right. Sweet potato hash. Which I just finished the last portion of yesterday, and I'm so sad because it's so good. It's one of my favorites. It was last Tuesday, that's right. It was a week ago today. I don't believe this calls for any raw onions, so I apologize to those of you who missed out on the crying. There will not be crying tonight. No, no, no. No crying tonight. All right. watching on I'm always curious are you watching how do you how do you do eggs in it we did that what did we do did we do that on Tuesday also I think we did that on Tuesday also or maybe last Thursday you can do hard boiled eggs in it two minutes five minute natural pressure release put it in a water bath the best I'm gonna write that up probably next week so oh my makeup was just all over my face all over my face it was a mess the throw remedy, please. Okay, the throw remedy is, and again, this one's going to come up soon, too. I took pictures of it. But um, you fill a jar with chopped up lemons and chopped up fresh ginger, or you can use squeezy ginger. That works also. Um, and then you fill all the empty space with honey, twist it, make sure all the air is out, and it's filled to the top. Put it in your fridge for 48 hours, and then take spoonfuls or put a spoonful in your tea or just put a spoonful in hot water. Um, and make like a tea from it and it's delicious and it's super yummy. Phone, phone. Those of you who don't know, I know a lot of people don't realize it until we say something, um, but if you have a smart TV, if you have a, um, a smart TV, if you have a, a Apple TV, if you have a Amazon Fire TV, if you have a Chromecast, if you have any of those, you can actually watch this on your television if that would be more comfortable. Has anyone ever heard of 
a sore throat on one side. Sure, absolutely. Absolutely. Watching on my TV, but comments on my phone. Oh, there you go. Hey, Jonathan, how are you? iPad, iPhone. All right, this is, we're just browning this a little bit more. And then once it's all browned, we're going to start adding the other stuff. And what we're going to add is, bum -ba -da -ba. Uh, we're going to add a little bit of potato. This one, the, the original cut recipe calls for a lot of potato. We're actually going to cut that in um, half or maybe a little bit less because we're going to fill it up with cabbage. Um, <clears throat> uh, tomato, carrots, green beans. And then I'm going to do uh, beef bouillon. Let's grab our beef bouillon out. Let's do it. Let's do it. I really like this stuff. You know, I, I go back and forth. I use regular bouillon cubes. I use um, stock. I use all of it. Um, but I do keep coming back to this one. I like this one a lot. This is better than bouillon. It's yummy. Hi, Mom. Mom's here. How long does this take to make? So this is gonna. This one's actually kind of a longer one because it's got the um, beef in it. So the the stew beef takes a long time. You know, if I was doing this in the slow cooker, it would be a ten hour one. If I was doing it. Um, in the oven it would be probably a four or five hour one because you really need a long time to let these the um this tough stew meat to cook in the pressure cooker it's a lot faster we're going to do it for 45 minutes um so it's going to come up to pressure it's going to take about 15 20 minutes to come up to pressure and it's going to be 45 minutes so it's going to be about an hour total um okay so why don't we go ahead and start cutting up our potato while this is uh simmering hot 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 feeling hot 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 could not pull you up for Facebook through Facebook. Had to use the link. Well, that's no fun. Sorry about that, Mom. We're going to say two russet potatoes. How's that sound? Two. Ooh, that's the wrong spot. Two russet potatoes. Hi, Mom. How's my detox going? It's going really well, actually. Um, yeah. I mean, I ate bacon for dinner, so I'm not sure how detoxing that is, but I've been staying away from the other naughty stuff pretty well. I'm not skinny yet, but that's not exactly my goal, so it's okay. All right, let me go ahead and grab a um, cutting board. detoxy kind of thing. All right. I like pretty small chunks of potatoes. You guys can do them however you like. Do you think you can do this as a make-ahead meal, put all the ingredients in a Ziploc bag, and then add to the pot minus the meal, of course? Um, yes. Sure. Absolutely. You could do this as a make-ahead. Absolutely. Put all your stuff in a, in a bag. Mm-hmm. That would work. The other thing you could do, which I personally think is, is better than make ahead, is um, or better than the not uncooked make ahead, is this actually I would cook the whole thing ahead and then um, not the cabbage, everything but the cabbage, cook it ahead and then freeze it in portioned oh. containers. I think that personally would actually work better. Hello, Miss Melody. That is a big potato. That's a large potato. Maybe I should specify on my notes that we use the very large potatoes. All right. So I'll show you how big these cubes are. You can see, oop, on the smaller side, maybe quarter inch, half inch. All right, I'm gonna make a note. Two large russet potatoes. Okay, and those are pretty well seared. Get that over here. Hi, Michelle. How are you? All right, our second potato. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. I like meals that my husband can throw in and start with. That's that's a good thing. That is a good thing. Yeah. No, you could definitely prep this ahead of time. Your potatoes. You might find that your potatoes turn. They'll they'll oxidize and they'll turn a little bit funny color. But once you cook them, you won't be able to see it, and it won't hurt anything. It won't, it doesn't change anything, the flavor-wise, so. All right. Hi, Louisa. How are you? 
Alright. Almost done with these. Last piece. Okay. So we're going to do two, about two cups of tomatoes. So roughly one can of tomatoes if you're going to use canned. Cap. Cabbage soup. Stacy found us live. Yay! Yay! Thank you, Lisa. It's from Paparazzi. Everything is five dollars. If you want the link, click my nose and you'll be able to see the links in the description. Skin on ha. I'm gonna try and try this less work. I'm not sure what you're asking me, Kathleen. I'm sorry. This is the six quart, yeah. <gasps> Angie pull this up on the TV so I'm actually not gonna drain this you can if you want but I'm not gonna drain it because it adds a lot more flavor so we're gonna say one can of diced tomatoes which is about two cups which is what it calls for in the other recipe one can diced tomatoes not drained we're gonna do a can of green beans I updated my iPad and I can't turn it to take up the whole screen. Do you have the lock? Try swiping up on the bottom and seeing if you have the lock, the screen lock engaged. Right. We are draining the green beans. Not a huge green bean um, juice fan. It's not really my thing. All right, we're putting those in. this around. I've still got saute on. I know a lot of people will turn the saute off as soon as they start other adding other ingredients, but I'm keeping it on because we want it to heat up. The faster it heats up, the faster it comes to pressure. That means the faster everything cooks. So Sandy got her jewelry order last week and she loves it. Yay. I know. I'm obsessed with it. I order every single month, even though I don't need that much jewelry. <laughs> Okay, and then we're gonna add our potato. That was two potatoes, probably more potatoes than I really meant to add, but that's okay. Potato cabbage soup. All right, and then we're going to, we're gonna add filtered water and beef broth. I've been trying to do a low sodium diet for your cat. That's very nice of you. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up a cup with, I'm still here, hi. So guys, what is your favorite thing? Those of you who have an Instant Pot or an electric pressure cooker, what is your favorite thing so far that you've made in your um, electric pressure cooker? I want to hear so I can make it too. <laughs> now I'm filling up water, but I'm not going to fill it all the way because you'll remember we're going to put a head of cabbage up in this at the end. And we're not going to put it at the beginning because um, I like... We're back, we're back, we're back, yay! And we're still just filling up our water over here. Let me know if you can see me. All right, I'm almost done. We're just filling up our water. Doing jumping jacks. Just trying to get all my exercise in. I'm just kidding, I'm not doing jumping jacks. Okay, Whew, we're back. Chorizo soup, yum. I am back. Okay, so we're not cooling it. We're we're not. I'm, I'm leaving about a cup to two cups um, from the top. Okay, and then we're gonna add our bouillon. So this is one teaspoon equals one cube. So we're gonna add a few teaspoons. Okay. Do one, two, chorizo soup. That sounds yummy. We're not, are we frozen again? I hope we're not frozen again. Okay. Okay, we've got everything added now. I'm going to give it a little stir. Get that bouillon really in there. Although it'll break apart when we cook. Keeps freezing. No. Facebook, why do you do this to me? Oh, carrots! Thank you! Oh my goodness, the carrots are right here. Thank 
Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Okay, and our carrots. <laughs> Pepper steak made with round steak. Ooh, yum. That sounds delicious. All right. Just moved to Texas and chorizo is big here. Chorizo is delicious. I don't really have any recipes we use it in. We use it to make like dips and stuff sometimes, but um, I don't have a whole lot of recipes. Okay. Okay, there we go. There is our, the TV is delayed. Oh no. Authentic tacos with homemade tortillas. Oh, that sounds amazing. All right, there's our carrots in. And you know what? I think I'm going to add. Um, one more can of tomatoes. I'm going to go see if I have one more can of tomatoes and we're going to add that. Give me one second. Un momento, por favor. tomatoes but I do have tomato sauce so this tomato sauce when they say tomato sauce in a can um it's plain sauce there's no it's not full of it's not like spaghetti sauce it's tomato sauce love my knife um if you go to our gift guide you can see it there all right I wonder if you could replace this chorizo with sausage and recipes. I bet you could. I bet that would be delicious. All right. I'm not saying there's nothing in this but tomatoes, but it's mostly tomatoes, like 99% tomatoes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add, I wanna make this nice and tomato-y. I feel like cabbage does really well with tomato. So we added, let's see, what is this? 14 ounce can, right? 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. Okay. Awesome. It's got a beautiful, guys, can you see the color? It's got a beautiful red color. Everything's in there. And now we are going to line up the arrows, slide it over. We're gonna cancel the saute feature. We're gonna put it on manual and we're gonna go up to 45 minutes. Oops, that is not what I meant to do, I'm sorry. Nope, manual, 45 minutes. Keep going, yo, keep going. All right, it's at 45 minutes. Now we're not gonna touch it. Um, when we haven't touched it for 10 seconds, it will know that it mean, that we want it to um, start cooking. There we go, it knows we want. All right, it's, I hope it's gonna be delicious. I'm excited. It sure smells good in here. We barely even started cooking. Did I put the cabbage in? No, the cabbage is gonna go in at the end. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna do its 45 minute cooking. We're gonna cut up the cabbage um, in the interim. And then when it's done cooking, we're gonna release it, we're gonna open it, we're gonna put the cabbage in, we're gonna put the lid back on for about another five or six minutes because the cabbage will cook very quickly. Um, so I personally don't want my cabbage to be overcooked. Now, if you want a really, really soft cabbage, that is totally respectable, and you are welcome to add it at the beginning, but I want it at the end for mine. All right, I'm just putting this in the garbage, and then we can, dun, da, da, da. I put the carrots in, not the cabbage. The cabbage will wait. Okay, we're gonna just clean off our space a little bit, and then we will, thank you, Stacy. I love you being here. We're gonna put this away and we are gonna go ahead and do the garlic. Sorry, give me one second.
Okay. Okay, so we've had a few issues with Facebook being really, really cranky today. So if you guys could all do me a massive favor and um, share this to your wall right now, that would be amazing. Tonight for dinner, I made potato soup with hamburger added. Oh, that sounds good, Melody. That sounds really good. All right, I'm going to just do a real quick share right here, if it'll let me. Make sure everybody knows that we are actually on tonight, that Facebook is working-ish a little bit. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and get our, our garlic going. So, the garlic trick is, and we'll come back to the cabbage, don't worry, we won't forget about, we will not forget about the cabbage and the cabbage soup. <laughs> Thank you, Janet. Thank you, Melody. Thank you, Brenda. You guys are all wonderful and beautiful. Okay. Y'all, we're going to make a really, really, really lot of um, garlic right now. So this is what I buy. You can get this at Costco, Sam's Club, any of your big um, warehouse stores. Big giant bag of fresh peeled garlic. My house smells like so much garlic right now. It's not even funny because even though... It's a sealed bag, you can still smell it. It's crazy, it's crazy. What are we Googling? Hey, Haley. What are we Googling? I missed it. All right, we can do this. Let me use the oh, here's the knife, here's the knife. Anyway, not that we need to be able to reseal it because we're gonna do it all. So the fun thing about roasted garlic, thank you everyone for sharing. Mom had a ribeye with sauteed mushroom and skin. What the heck is Laura Balls? So Laura Bars, are um, like clean eating, they're not granola bars, but they're clean eating like bars. And they're basically just cashews and dried fruit and they're delicious. We're gonna do those, but we're gonna make them into little balls instead of bars because the bars are harder to make since we're not like professionally sealing them. All right, so that one is literally frozen. Um, okay, so we've got this giant bag of garlic, right? all ready to eat, freshly peeled. You could totally peel your own if you want. I will not stop you from doing that. I add garlic to everything too, Melody. Garlic is delicious. We are going to spread it out on the pan. There's my, my kids tie-dyed these for me, isn't that cute? Uh, we're going to generously olive oil. Bum -ba -da -bum. Do a, use a good olive oil for this, if you can. I mean. Any olive oil will work, but if you've got the better stuff on hand, this is the time to use it. All right, you don't want to soak it, but you do want to coat everything and look through because you know these were, I'm sure, machine peeled. So um, just make sure there's always going to be a couple little pieces of the peel hanging out. Just pull them out; it's no big deal. It won't hurt anything. We're going to give these a good toss. Yo, yo, yo. Nice, good toss. Oop. Coat everything really well. All right. And then my house is going to smell so good, Michelle. So good. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Spread it out again. I'm going to wash my hands super quick because they're hella oily. tie-dye dish towels. Aren't they fun? They've been watched a bunch of times. I have to find, I should find out what they use to tie-dye them. We did them at camp over the summer. Okay. And then we're going to salt and pepper. You don't have to do the salt and pepper if you don't want. If you want just straight up plain roasted garlic, that is absolutely super fine. Uh, but I like to add a little bit of salt and pepper. And now the recipe online how I usually make it is 375 for an hour. It works, I do it. We're gonna try something different tonight though. We're gonna see if it works. I'm gonna do 470, 425 for 45 minutes and see if that works. I think it should. You can totally eat garlic like this. Okay, and then we're going to grab our foil. Oh my gosh, you guys, 
I didn't see the foil at first, damn it. And we're going to foil it, we're going to seal it really, really well. garlic is delicious. I love just spreading it on fresh baked bread. Just roast it. Oh my gosh. Fresh roasted garlic spread on fresh baked bread is like heaven. Heaven. So good. Okay. There we go. All covered. And like I said, normally I do this at 375, but tonight we're gonna try 425 and see how that does. I think it'll work fine and I think it'll let us do it a little bit quicker. Okay, sealed, we're gonna throw it in the oven. Bum, ba, da, ba. All right, center rack in the oven, which actually none of my racks are centered, so I'm gonna fix that real quick right now. Just a second. Sorry, 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 sorry. And we're going to set the timer for 45 minutes. Awesome. And then I'm going to come back and take a sip of my. Won't you have bad breath for a week? eating it like that. Hashtag worth it. <laughs> I mean, you know, just like eating onions or anything else. So good. It does, it does, the, the flavor becomes more subtle when you, um, when you cook it like that, when you cook it for a long time. So it's not going to be crazy, crazy. Um, oh, you know, we forgot. We forgot. We forgot, where's my, we forgot the seasoned salt in our, I bet it'll be fine. We can add it at the end. Okay. Hi, Miranda. Hi, Kelly. Okay. What are we going to do? Let's chop our, let's chop our, um, can you put the recipe you were speaking of earlier, the honey and tea on here, please? If you watch, if you go back and look at our recipe, our show, was it last Tuesday? That's where we do that one. And I will be putting it up on the website soon. Soon. Soon? Soon. It's just um, lemon, ginger, and honey. All right. We're going to chop up our cabbage. I'm going to give it a rinse. That's why you brush your teeth. <laughs> yeah, I mean it does, but it does come out of your pores. You do kind of like seep garlic when you eat a lot of garlic. There's no doubt. It doesn't just affect your teeth. It comes out of your pores, but still delicious. Still worth it. Can I give this a little rinsey rinse? And depending on what I'm making, sometimes. I like to, I couldn't find last Tuesday's show. Two weeks, was it two weeks ago? No, oh, was that? I don't think it was two weeks ago. It wasn't two weeks ago Christmas? Depending on what I'm making, uh, what type of cabbage soup I'm making, I should say. Sometimes I like to cut the cabbage into chunks, and sometimes I like to make it into like a noodle kind of shape. Today, uh, looks like you need to throw away your plants. Yeah, it's probably time to compost them. <laughs> Today I'm going to do chunks, because um, I just, I like that. I made it the other night, and I put it in my tea this morning. Oh, I'm so glad you liked it. Yay. Anyway, to make it, it's just, um, uh, you're going to fill a jar up with lemons and a couple chunks of ginger, and you're going to fill all the empty space with honey. You're going to let it sit for at least two days before you use it, and, uh, and then you're going to use it. Oops. <laughs> All right. So we're going to just chunk it. We're going to chunk it up. Hi, Carol. How are you? Somebody said 
garlic keeps mosquitoes away. I know it keeps vampires away. I've never heard about it keeping mosquitoes away. That would be nice. We certainly have a lot of mosquitoes in our area. We're in Florida. Where are you guys from? I'm in Florida. It's not cold here anymore. We had, It was cold here for like two minutes. That was lovely. Now it's not. Okay. So you can see we're doing kind of big chunks. And this will cook way, way, way down. So if you're thinking, oh my gosh, she's putting so much cabbage in that soup, you'll see that it's almost all, um, it's almost all water, so it cooks down. I'm doing well, Kara, thanks. Lake City, Florida for Miss Casey. Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm coming to British Columbia in May, and I'm super excited about it. I loved every second of the Florida winter. I know, me too, hashtag we survived. <laughs> I wish it would come back. Hey Debbie, we are making cabbage soup. We um, are making roasted garlic and we are going to make some copycat Lara bars. Facebook is being super cranky tonight. I'm not sure what the deal is, yo. I just don't know. All right. Yeah, it's, uh, here, I was going to look. It is uh, 66 degrees out here right now, which is, I mean, I think pretty warm for winter, especially when the sun's down already. Southern California. I heard of day-old coffee grounds that dry and light it on fire. What are we doing? Are we doing pagan rituals right now? What is happening? What are we lighting? Why are we lighting these coffee grounds on fire? Is that kind of like reading your tea leaves? First time viewer. Hi, Miss Josie. My daughter's name is Josie. I love that name. All right. We've had a few people find each other here and say, oh my goodness, we're neighbors. What are the odds? I didn't know you lived near me. I always think that's really fun. <gasps> First timer. Hi, Bernadette. Welcome, yeah. welcome. We're so glad you're here. Yay. Okay. Got our big chunks. And I'm like I said, I'm going to use this whole head of cabbage. Beautiful name. Hello, Caitlin. First time viewer. I love it. We only have new people. Okay. Almost done, and then we're going to move on to the Lara Bars. It froze over in South Carolina, and they had a news story about how the gators hibernate with their nostrils out of the water so they don't freeze. Really? I didn't even, I did not realize gators could survive freezing temperatures. I don't know how I feel about that. That's a little upsetting. For the mosquitoes. Oh, for the mosquitoes. The coffee beans are for the mosquitoes. I see. I thought we were reading coffee leaves. I need to learn new things to make to eat. Well, you're in the right place. We're here every Tuesday and Thursday between 8.30 and 9-ish. Eastern. You can look back on all of our episodes. We have over 200, between somewhere between 200 and 300. This thing's on, right? Yeah, it's on. Um, we have somewhere between 200 and 300 old episodes. We've been doing this for two years now. So there's lots and lots and lots of stuff. And you can go straight to the source, which is my website, mamalovesfood.com. M-A-M-A-L-O-V-E-S-F-O-O-D.com to check out all of our recipes. Everything is easy, family-friendly, nothing scary. We yeah, do have some, a few recipes that are more unusual, but nothing scary and definitely nothing hard to make. Zena is so excited. All right. You're supposed to get more snow tomorrow. Where are you, Lindsay? Where are you, Lindsay, that you're getting snow? Okay, I'm going to put this cabbage out of the way. I know it looks like a crazy amount of cabbage, but I promise it'll cook down. Yay, Christina made the chicken salad. I'm so glad you liked it. We're going to put that out of the way. Oh, I hope I didn't use all my plugs. I might have used all my plugs. I love to chop veggies. Me too. Me too. It's not weird. I think it's very normal because I like I feel the same way so I'm gonna tell you it's normal <laughs> western Nebraska okay so we're gonna clean our 
table off here, get a little bit scattered. Okay, we're gonna make, those of you who don't know what Lara bars are, Lara bars are a granola type bar, they're not granola obviously, um, but they are granola type bar, made primarily of cashew and a dried fruit. Um, so you'll see cashew and, cashew and date is probably the most prominent, cashew and raisin, cashew and um, prune, um, and I think, I think a few other ones. Um, and then they'll have other mix-ins, so they might have cocoa powder in some, or chocolate chips, or um, cinnamon. So my personal favorite is really simple, and you'll see in the um, recipe that I linked to that we actually did cashews and prunes, which is super delicious. Um, but I also really, really love cashews and raisins. So we're going to do cashews and raisins. I personally think it tastes a lot like um, oatmeal cookies. We're going to do cashews and raisins, and we're going to add a little bit of cinnamon. Thank you. The necklace is from Paparazzi. Five dollars. Um, if you click, if you touch my nose, if you're on a touch screen, or if you click share, um, share this video to your wall, you'll see the link to um, purchase Paparazzi jewelry. Super yummy. Super yummy. Super pretty, I mean. <laughs> I have cabbage on my shirt. Where do I have cabbage on my shirt? Okay. So I'm going to grab some cinnamon. I've got the other ingredients right behind me, and then we'll get going. And hopefully we have a plug to use. Ooh. My bay leaves just went flying out of the cabinet. They're like, why didn't you use me today? All right, where's our cinnamon? There's our cinnamon, y'all. You're going to laugh when, when you realize that I couldn't see it at first because it's massive. All right, here's our cinnamon. Cinnamon. Is anyone else freezing? Today is Facebook's being super cranky today. I'm sorry. Okay. Joy wants to know why we take too long. Well, I mean, too long is relative. If it's too long for you, you're welcome to just click share, share this to your wall, and uh, watch it later, scrub through. Because once we end the live version, um, you'll be able to watch it again on the replay, and during the replay, you can fast forward, and you don't have to listen to me. That's fine, not everybody has all that time. All right, so we've got our food processor here. This is just my Ninja. I love this, I love this blender. Um, and it's got the food processor attachment. And let me see, do we have a plug? Do we have a plug? Ooh, I think, let's hope we don't short it out because that would stink. Please don't short out. Okay. Did we short out? Nope, we didn't short out, good. Okay, so. I love you, Miss Lisa. Thank you. Banana Nut Lara Bars. Ooh, that sounds good. Um, yeah, and you could get, like, the, you can use the extract. So you could use a butter extract to make, like, a butter cookie flavor. You could use um, a banana extract, a strawberry extract, any of those. Uh, you guys are too sweet. Okay. Um, I like to use salted cashews. Um, if you if you don't, if you're not into salty stuff, you can go ahead and use unsalted. Hey Janice, you can get my recipes by going to mamalovesfood.com. M-A-M-A-L-O-V-E-S-F-O-O-D.com. Oh, you're too funny, Brenda. Um, you can also, if you're on a, a touch screen device, touch my nose and you'll see the links to our recipes. And yeah, they're all there. Um, you guys are sweet. Okay. So this recipe is ridiculously easy, guys. Ridiculously easy. It's equal parts dried fruit, this one, dried fruit, and cashews, okay? That's it. That's the base of the recipe, and then you go from there. So if you want to add, like I said, cinnamon, um, extracts, all that fun stuff. It's not about listening to you, but all the other things you do, and I really want to hear it all. Well, I totally understand that. I do. Kind of hard to coordinate it's just me it's just me so i don't have a i don't have an assistant in here usually kelly's on and she can help with the sharing of things and all that but I'm Kelly is sick today. so i'm just um the recipe on my website calls for one cup and one cup um but like i said it's just good night anthony have a great night so i'm gonna go ahead and make sure we have These are just raisins. So this was cashews. I used salted. You do not have to use salted. If you don't use salted, you probably will want to add a pinch of salt to. Now, can you hear this? Can you hear over here? I don't know if you guys can still see it. 
Um, if you, you should be able to hear it because you're pretty close to the speaker. The boiling, boiling, boiling from our Instant Pot. That means it's almost to pressure. As soon as it comes to pressure, then the timer will start, and that's when it will, um, the pressure timer will start. So we'll have uh, 45 minutes once that comes to time. It's almost Valencia's birthday. Happy birthday, Valencia. Yay. Okay. So I just want to make sure, I think these are just different, they should be about the same. Um, they're just different shapes. But we want to make sure we have equal, equal. Hello, Miss Bindi. How are you? All right. Ooh, I just got a cool breeze. I just said it was warm out, and I just got a cool breeze through the window. That felt good. Okay. Unexpected, but good. Okay, so there we go. It's a little bit more than equal parts. And in the past, when we've done this on the show, I'm pretty sure we've done this at least once before on the show, um, we've used our mini food processor, which works very well. Actually, I don't know if I've ever even used this food processor. Hi, Ginger. Ginger Snap. Please tell me that's your real name, because that would make my entire night. And then I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon. I'm telling you, I really, okay, maybe it's just like my desperate want for um, cookies, but I really feel like this combination tastes like an oatmeal and raisin cookie. And my kids love it. So, all right, there we go. We're going to probably wake up all the children. <laughs> I still love it as a nickname. It's fun. to use like it doesn't that look yummy just like that like I just want to sprinkle it on everything um I don't like to use the blend button I don't know why I like the pulse button I like to have that control <laughs> Ashley, we've got uh, beef cabbage soup over here in the Instant Pot. We've got roasted garlic in the oven, and we are making Lara balls. <laughs> So somebody asked if you can use any other, um, any other, anything other than raisins. Yes, you can use almost any dried fruit. Um, okay, look at that. We're almost there. So you want them to be able to hold their form without falling apart, without being crumbly, but also without being liquidy. So actually, these are really close to there. Look at that. See. I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna let it pulse for about one more one one more round, so maybe like 30 more seconds. Um, somebody else asked before I start this again whether it would be better to soak them first. No, you don't want them any more wet than they are because the um, that would make them just fall apart. So we're gonna let it go. <laughs> Cool. 
So you can tell, do you see how the consistency changed? And it looks more like kind of doughy and like it, it's coming together on its own. That's how you know it's done. That's how you know. All right, and then we're gonna make balls, baby balls. So somebody asked what a Lara bar is. A Lara bar is just a fruit and nut bar. It's kind of a, instead of um, uh, granola bars for folks who are trying to keep it just really clean eating. And they're super yummy. My kids love them. I love them. They're a great little guilt-free snack. And um, somebody else said, why doesn't the link in the recipe have cabbage in it? And that is an absolutely fantastic question. Okay, so the timer is going, by the way. We're at 43 minutes on the soup. Um, that is an excellent question. The reason for that is we're experimenting tonight. So that is our vegetable beef soup that's in the link. And what we did was we skipped, we skipped the, um, what did we skip? We skipped the corn. We halved-ish, we about halved the potatoes. We, um, we added a little bit more tomato and we're gonna add cabbage at the end. So we're doing a little bit of experimenting. I've been craving cabbage soup for like a week, so we're making that happen. No worries, Michelle, no worries. Lots of people pop in and out, so that is a totally, perfectly awesome and legitimate question because it would not make much sense to you. So all we're doing is making balls. We're not gonna bake these, we're gonna, they're gonna be, they're good as is, like I could just dig into one now. Um, could you add honey? I probably would not add honey because that's gonna be sticky and drippy. Um, they are plenty sweet just as they are, I promise you that. Um, you can use, yeah, somebody asked about rate, um, what is in Lara Bar? So a basic Lara Bar is just cashews and a dried fruit. So tonight we used cashews and raisins. A lot of times I'll use dates. Dates work really, really well also. Did you add any beef or just veggies? Yes, Melody, we used um, some stew beef. Mm -hmm. We did, we did. And you could skip that. I wanted mine to have um, some extra protein in it. But you could skip that and just use the bouillon if you wanted it to be, um, how about a little vanilla? Yeah, you could add a little bit of vanilla. I wouldn't add a lot because you don't want to add liquid to it. You, you, you really want to avoid adding liquid as much as possible. So you can, you can totally eat them like this. And you know, I could totally press these into bars right now. And you'll find if you buy a Lara bar at the store, that this is basically what they're like. They're just like, like that, a Lara bar. Um, I find since I don't have a machine plant to, you know, package them into dried apricots would be good. I actually bought some of those at the store today. Um, I just find the balls are easier to pick up and, and eat. Is my battery dying? No, it's not a battery issue. It's a Facebook issue when it gets blurry, unfortunately. Our battery is full. It is a Facebook issue. Stinky Facebook. Uh, anyway, so so these are just dried fruit and nuts. So you actually can store them at room temperature. I don't. I don't know why. It just kind of weirds me out. Um, so I actually store mine in the freezer. You don't have to do this. But when you store them in the freezer, um, you there's two things that happen. One, you know they're going to last basically forever. And two, I they take longer to eat, which I like. You don't just like um, um, gobble them. You kind of have to savor them a little bit, which is good. But you don't have to. You can throw them in the Tupperware in your purse to snack on later, and they'll be just fine. Anyway, so that's them, and they're super yummy. And yeah, somebody asked what we added to ours. Ours are just raisin. Um, yes, we put cinnamon, Patricia. So ours are, are um, what I call um, oatmeal, oatmeal cookie. There's no oat in them. They just have that reminiscent flavor for me. So we put we put equal parts. Thank you, Jean. We put equal parts cashews and raisins, and then about a teaspoon to somewhere between one and two teaspoons of cinnamon. And then we put it in the blender, not the blender. We put it in the food processor. And now we're making balls. Now you do want to make sure you don't go too far past this stage because if you go past this stage much more, it will get a little bit liquidy. 
can you eat, add chocolate chips? So if you add chocolate chips, you're going to want to add oops, some really, really dark chocolate chips. And I would probably add them at the end. What I would do is I would chop them on, um, I would probably chop them on a cutting board and kind of stir them in. Can you use different nuts? I've actually never tried it with different nuts. I know it works really well with cashews and I like cashews. Um, so I've not tried it with different nuts. Kara's gonna make them. Yeah, they're good. Yummy, yummy. Ooh, I was like, what is, what's that smell? What am I smelling? I'm smelling the garlic, baby. I'm smelling the garlic. It smells good. All right. So who got an Instant Pot for Christmas? Tell me. Did you get an Instant Pot for Christmas? And like I said, you can use um, coconut too. Coconut would be delicious. I have definitely done them with coconut before. Um, top them with some sugar. You can absolutely stop them with some sugar, but that would kind of defeat the purpose of them being no added sugar. But if you're cool with adding sugar, I will not stop you. I will not get upset. <laughs> Donna got one. Bindi got one. Yay. Love it. I love mine. Haven't used it yet. Debbie, you gotta use it. It's so good. <laughs> Ashley got hers for her wedding August of last year. And how often do you use yours? Do you use it a lot? I definitely feel like I use mine more um, because of this show. And I wonder how many Weight Watchers points these are. Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. I feel like it would be pretty easy to figure out, you know, so the way you would do it is measure, you'd say how much how, my, how many points is a cup of cashews? How many cup points is a cup of raisins? And then just divide it by how many balls you make. I did, but I don't know what I'm doing. It scares me. It's so easy. It's so easy. Anyway, I was gonna say, I feel like I wanted, I like cooking with you guys. Does that make sense? I feel like I might leave it in the cabinet if I didn't have you guys to like do it with. <laughs> Sounds kind of weird, I feel like, but it's true. <gasps> Heidi did, yay! Got one, but it's only the three quart, so I have to get a bigger one. Hmm, I didn't even know they made a three quart. I just discovered though that they have an eight quart, and I have to be honest, I'm super wanting that one. Carrie uses theirs almost every night. Yeah, we've been using ours three, four times a week, which I'm thrilled. I love it. Works great. It from. <sighs> Hi guys, we're back. That was annoying. That was annoying. I don't know what's going on with Facebook. Facebook is super cranky tonight. Sorry about that. Facebook is jacking people. Facebook is being super cranky. So we're almost done making these balls and we've got 36 more minutes on the soup and 17 more minutes on the garlic. So I'm wondering, you know, I just, I said just a minute ago, I actually bought some dried apricots, apricots, how do you say that? Apricots or apricots? Um, as well, so maybe we should do a batch of apricot Lara bars. What do y'all think? Lara balls. Brenda has the eight quart and loves it. Heidi got the eight quart. I have to say, I, um, I, the, the six quart has been adequate for me. I would have, um, you know, yeah. Are you still frozen? It's not frozen on my end. I I can't complain. The six quart has been very adequate for me. I do wish I could fit a bigger chicken in though. Um, that would be nice. But what do I store them in? So I put them, I'm going to put them in um, Tupperware and I like to put them in the freezer. You do not have to freeze them. You can put them on your, you can, you can. I do suggest refrigerating them just because it weirds me out not to, but they're dried fruit, which doesn't need refrigeration. So, and they're nuts, which don't need refrigeration. So I feel like you could probably not refrigerate them, but I don't feel comfortable telling you that. Um, would a chuck roast fit in a six quart? Yes, I have done a chuck ro roast. If you look um, like two or three recipe go recipes ago on Mama Loves Food, I did a balsamic chuck roast. It came out amazing. It was a it was a three pounder, but I probably could have fit a four pounder in there. 
but I do wish I do wish I could sit a little bit bigger. Sorry, I don't know if you missed it because you froze. Does yours have a condensation collector? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I say yes, please. All right. Ah, Facebook, Facebook. Why you do us wrong, Facebook? All right. Erica says, if you're frozen, refresh your page in your browser. You are welcome, Miss Patricia. I only have four people to cook for, but I make enough to feed eight. I know, I'm the same way. I mean, I have seven people, but I, I cook for like 27. It's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. Okay. Look at these. They're so yummy. So yummy. I'm excited. I'm excited to have snacks. That's the one problem with, with doing the paleo diet is I feel like there's less snacking available. What do you guys snack on when you're trying to be good? We go through a lot of pickles. I do a lot of cherry tomatoes. That kind of stuff. I'm trying to get the last little bits out of here. All right. You guys are so quiet tonight. What's going on? You guys watching something else at the same time? Are there playoffs going on or something? Okay. So there's our date balls. We made, let's see how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. So we made about 30-ish. Ish. Um, should we make some apricot ones? I think we should try to make... Tara's starting paleo next week. I've been on and off paleo for about a million years now. It's so good when you're doing it. You feel so good. Um, but, yeah. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. What did I just do with the... There it is. Let's give this a little rinse. Put that back. Okay. Prince Charming says hello. Hello, Prince Charming. Paleo is um, it's like going back to your paleo like roots. I don't know if that's true. You're cutting out grains, dairy, um, processed sugar, alcohol. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I don't do it 24-7, but it's like a kind of guideline for me. Anyway. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab the apricots out and do those. I'll be right back. I'm just scooting over here to my cabinet, grabbing the apricots. That garlic is making a lot of smells, cutting out all the good stuff, right? I know. I know. I'm not saying give up cake completely, guys. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying give up dairy completely. I'm just saying. I will admit it. I love these. Okay. Hi, Kathy. Thank you. Can I post the link to Erin's necklace? Oh, that was an old one. Um, Josh, I don't even know if I still have that link. I'll have to look. I'll have to look and come back to you on that one. Okay. This is the Ninja Blender, yes, with the um, food processor attachment. Okay. Let's grab a measuring cup. Uh -oh, uh -oh, I got something. Here's our taco lasagna. Ooh, that sounds good. Um, Bessie, I'm not sure. I've only ever done it with cashews and different dried fruits. So I'm not really sure about changing the nuts. Um, so if you try it, definitely let us know how that works out. Okay, so here's one cup of apricots. And then we're going to do one cup. I keep, I'm going on a low-carb diet on Monday. Keeps my diabetes in check. Yeah, the paleo um, keeps my autoimmune flare up. So keeps my, keeps my knees working. Keeps my joints from working. Gave up sugar and lost 25 pounds. Wow. I don't think I could ever give it up completely. But I can give it up, like, you know, during the week. <laughs> I can have it for special occasions. All right. And one cup of, let's scoot that down. And one cup of, hello, Michelle. All right, and then one cup of cashews. It's about to get loud in here again. No, 
and line up arrows. All my devices make you line up arrows. Alright. Turn it on. I think that's even louder than the other one was. So you can see right now it looks like something you kind of sprinkle over your popcorn on top of your cake. We want it so we want it so that it's um, starting to stick to itself. cashews and dried apricots yes um no i did not put cinnamon in um this one if my voice is not matching to my lips try xing out and coming back a lot of times that'll fix it There, you can see it sticking to itself a little bit. Did I cut my hair? I did not cut my hair. This is the food processor attachment for the Ninja Blender. Um, I'm obsessed with it. I love it. So much. Um, I'm gonna say we're good. Look at it. So you can see it sticks together now, which is exactly what we want it to do. Um, you know those old God's Godzilla movies? Yeah, is it doing that tonight? That makes me crazy. I'm sorry. Sometimes if you totally close out Facebook and then come back, it'll it'll sync up again. Yeah, it's a big one. I have a regular food processor, which is also big actually. Um, but it scares me because it's got like all the you have to put the thing in the thing in the... This is much simpler. I love the other one. It does more stuff than this one. Like, this one won't do... You know how... You know the fancy food processors can do the, like, julienne and the thin slicing of things. This doesn't do any of that stuff, but... I don't need to do that right now. Hello, Miss Samantha. Jordan likes my nails. Thank you. All right, <laughs> they're matte, but they look kind of shiny because of the uh, <laughs> the cashew oil. All right, uh, somebody asked me something else. Did I cut my hair? No, I didn't cut my hair. Um, a lot of people have asked me that this week, though, because we've been showing reruns. Um, we've been showing reruns of old shows, and a couple of them were from a, from like two years ago when my hair was much shorter. So I've been getting a lot of I've, get, I've been getting a lot of messages. Do I think a mini food processor is worth the money? I love my mini food processor. I have used, okay, you know what? It's crumbling as I roll it, so we're gonna do it just a little bit longer, actually. We are gonna do it a little bit longer. What did I just do with that? Why do I keep putting it down in the sink? I thought I washed my sink before this show. All right, stainless steel wine glass. Not only is it a stainless steel wine glass, but it is a, um, But it is uh, insulated. It's double wall insulated. It is one of the things on my gift guide. My amazing gift guide that's got all the things I love. Why is this not going in? You can do There we go. Okay, lining all the things up. I said lining. Why won't it go? <gasps> you know why it is. I know why it is. I know exactly why it is. It's because I took this blade out and I'm smushing the stuff on the bottom. That's alright. Sandra loves the reruns. It's so funny to watch them because um, 
you know, I feel like in some ways we've perfected things. You know, the the setup is better. Some of the old ones, we had the camera kind of in the corner, and I was like looking into the camera weird. Um, we've got the lighting way better than it used to be. All right, let's try that. Let's try that. Let's try that. There we go. It's got to set down at the bottom. And then we're going to put this back in. It looks weirdly like cornmeal right now. <laughs> okay. And then, but yeah, it's kind of, it's neat to watch. There we go. That worked. Okay. You know, and it's possible too, I've never used the apricot before. Um, it's possible too, we might need to add a slightly higher ratio of apricot to um, cashew to get them to roll well if the, if the apricot's a little bit drier. This actually feels good. I love them. Oh, did my, my kids came in one? Aw. Yeah, we've been starting later than our old ones used to be, so. Um, they don't tend to come out anymore. There we go. Those are so slippery from all the cashew oil. There we go. Perfect. 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 We've got our heat on. My my son, when I roll something and don't get it quite right, my son says, "Mom, it's got a butt in it." And it looks like it has a butt in it. All right. Yeah, I think it's fun to see the old ones. You know, not everybody not everybody's been watching us for two years. And not everybody knows where to find them in the uh, archives. So I, I asked Kelly to start putting them on regularly. It's kind of fun. And it's nice, too, because people can, you know, fast forward through if you don't want to watch the whole thing. There we go. Should we taste this? Let's see how the apricot ones taste. We'll make a mini one and taste it. Mmm. I like it. I like it. Oh my god. Mm, it's really good actually. Thank you, Jessica. My um my kids made them for me at tennis camp. Although it's funny. It took them a little while to relinquish them to me. They brought them home and said, look what we made you. And they said, well, we're just, we're going to keep our bedroom. And then eventually they did make it into my kitchen, but. <laughs> I love Josie's videos. Yeah, Josie, Josie's cute. She, uh, she got a little bit heckled on her last video, though, so she's been a little gun shy. I don't want to push her. It's only if she wants to, so. I'm sure she'll come back eventually, though. She wants to do a cooking show, but the problem is she doesn't read yet. <laughs> You know, she can read a little bit, but not well enough to do a recipe on her own. And she doesn't like it when I help her. So, the boys have been asking if they can do a cooking show thing. We'll see. I'm looking for the show on the per breakfast foods, pre-made breakfast foods. Um, I think Kelly shared it yesterday, right? I want to say it was shared yesterday. No, I'm new, but the one I saw today was Crescent Egg Sandwiches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kathy. Am I done with the cabbage soup? The cabbage soup has 20 more minutes on the Instant Pot for the pressure cooking. And then as soon as it's done with that, we're going to do a quick release on that, which is a no-no. I'm not going to lie. That's a no-no. You're not really supposed to quick release soups. Do it anyway. Um, it won't hurt it if you do. It won't hurt it. I mean, it won't hurt it if you don't, if you choose to do it the proper way. Um... But we're gonna so we're gonna quick release it and then we're gonna throw our batch of you can see this is ooh, the wrong way. Oh, there's our cabbage. Uh, we're gonna toss our cabbage in, we're gonna close it back up, and I'm not gonna put the heat back up on on it because it'll be it'll be super hot. Um, we're just gonna stir it in. That's the one you just want. Yeah. 
um, we're just going to stir it in and put the lid back on and it'll cook down and incorporate and be delicious. We've got 30 seconds left on our, um, on our roasted, I keep wanting to say roasted broccoli, roasted garlic, on our roasted garlic. What's in there now? In where? In here? This is cashews and dried apricots. A cup of each. Yes, Penny. So you're just going to want equal parts of each is really the trick. Equal parts nuts, equal parts dried fruit. You can use whatever dried fruit you like. Oh, somebody, so somebody suggested cranberries earlier. Cranberries work. Here's my issue with cranberries. They're really hard to find unsweetened. And I personally like them unsweetened. Um, so we've got a health food store that's like 45 minutes from us where I can find them unsweetened or I can get them on Amazon for like way too much money. Um, but I tend to not use cranberries even though I love them because I don't want to add the sugar to it because the fruit's already sweet. It's delicious. That's the whole point of using the dried fruit. I'm going to grab this um, pan of, oh, I'm going to grab this pan of roasted garlic out and I'm just going to set it, um, oh going to set it on the stove top for a few minutes. I'm hoping, I, like I said earlier, I actually cooked them at a higher temperature than I normally do, so hopefully we didn't burn them. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little nervous about that. But I let you know how many balls it makes. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously your balls, you can make your balls bigger or smaller. That sounds so dirty. That one's actually way too big. Um, when I did the raisins and cashews, it was about 35. Yes, Tara. Um, but I actually used more than a cup with the with the um, raisins and cashews. I did an entire, ooh, I did an entire can, which I would say is easily two cups, maybe more. So the apricots, apricots, however you wanna call them, the apricots and cashews, we did a cup of each. So that'll be an easier way to judge. But I like mine roughly this size. <laughs> Kathy says, I live in Massachusetts and I usually get 10 pounds in the fall, fresh from the bog. <gasps> that, I'm very jealous of that. Do you dry them? Do you dry them yourself? Wes is creeping into the frame. You can see a shadow looming. People always message me and say, I thought you were tall until I saw Wes come in the frame. <laughs> Hashtag balls. Hashtag balls. Hi, Diane. How are you? My mom's name is Diane. In case you were curious. <laughs> All right. I do feel like I'm making, I don't, for whatever reason, these uh, apricot ones, apricot. Do you guys say apricot or apricot? Um, I seem to be making a slight bit bigger, but that's okay. I need to hide in your car next time you drive through Maryland. <laughs> Debbie, the only fat is from the cashews. Yeah, the only fat fat in these is from the cashews. Which I mean, cashews do are they're fatty. Nuts are fatty. There's no doubt. So if you are on a low fat diet, this might not be the snack for you. But if you are on a um, if you are on a diet that values um, high fats and proteins, then maybe more. I love them frozen. I eat them as snacks. Ooh, yum. I've never even tried frozen cranberries. I like that idea. We do frozen grapes. Frozen grapes are yummy. I've never tried frozen cranberries, though. All right. I wonder how many balls we got. So this is the last one. I got a little, little dust stains at the bottom left. <laughs> all right. Let me just grab all the little bits. We don't want to waste any. Cashews are expensive, yo. So the best place to get cashews, because cashews are expensive, um, but I find the best place to get them, I got them at Publix today because I was, I totally forgot to pick them up when I went to Costco, but Costco far and away has the best deal on cashews. Um, hi Tracy, we used, we used roasted salt, roasted salted cashews. What other fruits? Um, prunes and dates are two of my favorites. Raisins, obviously, now apricots. And I did do cranberries once um, when I had some that were not sweetened. Okay, so 
We made one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna count this little one because some of mine are bigger and it should have been a reasonable size one. All right, so we're gonna just do it in threes. Three, six, nine, the goose drink wine. Three, six, nine. Oh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Five times three is 15. I made 16 balls. There you go. 16 balls for a cup and a cup. Frozen grapes in, oh, in wine. Yes, yum. Oh, Aldi has good prices too. That is true. That is 100% true. Aldi has very good prices on wine. All right. <clears throat> Should we bring that garlic over and see if we destroyed it? Oh, there we go. That's what it's called. I keep trying to figure out what, what it's caught on. You are welcome, Miss Penny. If you don't mind, if you calculate it right now, would you would you let us know? I'm curious how many points they are. How do you store them? So in an airtight container, um, in the fridge or in the freezer. Let's go grab those that roasted garlic. Let's see how we did. Oops, just knocked over my pepper shaker. Here we go. So we put an entire, have you ever tried cranberries? Um, so yeah, I have tried cranberries only once because um, they're hard to find unsweetened and I only like to use unsweetened fruit. Ooh, they look good. We had two versions of the balls on the baking sheet. We made them with one with raisins and one with apricots. Oh my goodness, yummy, 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 yummy. Okay. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna show you. If you want yours all golden brown, what you can do is put it back in the oven, put the broiler on, put it in the middle rack with the broiler on, super briefly, you're gonna watch it super close, um, but I don't need it to be, because it's done its job. Look how pretty that is. Oh, and they're soft and yummy and beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and, where's my, yeah. Why am I having such a hard time doing it? This is not. This is my grill one. It's a little big. A little big. Let's see. You want to just? I'm gonna just peek at the bottoms. Oh yeah, the bottoms are. Look at that. Can you guys see? The bottoms are super nicely round and yummy and perfect. O M G. Can you guys see this? Hopefully y'all can see. Let me scoot it back a little bit, make sure y'all can see. How do you store all that garlic? I'm gonna store most of it in the freezer. I'm gonna turn some of it into garlic aioli, like a roasted garlic aioli. I'm gonna store it in small batches in the freezer so I can pull it out and add it to stuff when I want. And also, I'm just gonna eat some of that. It is so good. Oh my goodness. So good, holy moly. Who believes in the five second rule? This girl does. What baking sheets do you use? Um, I don't remember what they're called, but I did link to them on my gift guide if you wanna check there. Penny says a little over three points a piece. Okay, so that makes sense though because they are nuts. So I think it doesn't wait. Why don't you have the like the other plan where it's um where um if you cut out all the it's basically paleo. Probably do less on that one. There we go. Oh my goodness, I'm super excited about this. Oh, that one still has the top on. Kathleen believes in the 25 second roll, right? Yeah, this is super yummy. Like ridiculously, ridiculously yummy. I'm gonna, I'll hold one up for you and we'll let it cool just a touch more before I, and I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it cool a lot more before I put it in a container, but I'll, I'll probably, you know those snack size bags you can get, like the real thin ones? I'll probably, I have a bunch of those. I'll probably put them in those and then put them in the freezer. But look at this. Look at that gorgeously browned clove of garlic. A little smaller one. Mm. I could just sit here and snack on this. 
so good. All right, we're gonna scoot this out of the way. I just want to look at this. <laughs> Where'd I get the big bag of garlic? I got it at um, Costco. Costco! And I will warn you, even though it's a fully sealed bag of garlic, it's gonna make your whole fridge smell like garlic. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna scoot this out of the way. I'm gonna let it cool off some more. And, oh boy. We've got 10 more minutes. On, oh, we've got nine minutes on the timer for the soup. What about the lar bars? I don't because I have two dogs and I work in a dental office. <laughs> I have a dog, but just little. Do you have a Sam's Club? I've seen that at Sam's Club before too. Flying apricot. Okay. Let's, um. So I'm going to store my, what's my opinion on food saver machines? I have an opinion. So my feeling on food saver machines is if you're going to use it, it's fantastic. Because they work really well. And they really do preserve your food for like a billion years longer. The problem is if I had one, it would sit in my drawer. I'd use it like a crazy person the first two weeks I had it. And then I'd never touch it again. But if you are, so there's all our apricot ones. No. I don't know what I would do without my food saver machine. See, there you go. So Kathy, Kathy, our friend, Kathy, um, uses hers regularly. But... I think it just depends on whether you're actually going to use it. They are legitimately a good, a good thing though. They do save your food. But you just have to weigh whether you actually use it or not. I know I always see them at Costco and I'm like, ooh, another gadget. Hi, Madeline. How are you, gorgeous? All right. There's two containers. One more. Un mas. Alright. So has anybody ever made these before? They've been on our website for a few years, but I had one, but it sat on my shelf. However, my parents still use theirs. Yeah, I definitely think a lot of people use them, for sure. Hey, Carolyn. How are you? Alright. Do we have any new watchers here? I know Kathy said she's new. Are we frozen or is it just my phone? Oh no, we're not frozen. Okay. All right, look at that. So we got three nice containers of Laura bars. I like I said, I keep mine in the freezer. You don't have to. That is not. That is not a thing. Um, I like them because I like them frozen, because they take longer to eat and you kind of have to savor them rather than just like. Which is what I do. I'm. That's me. Like if it's just easy to eat and right there, I'm gonna eat twenty of them. So I freeze them. To make them a little bit harder to eat. My dad uses his a lot when we process deer. Yeah, that makes sense. If you hunt, for sure, that's something you would want. I'm going to make these for my 91-year-old dad. Oh, good. I'm sure he will. And these are a good one, too, to make with the prunes, which I know a lot of people are like, prunes. You guys, prunes are just dried plums. They're delicious. They're good. Um, I, love the, I love them with prunes. Um... Was I going to say? But these are dried fruit. So, hi, Hannah. Hannah's new-ish. Hi, Taryn. Been watching for two years. High five, girl. You're amazing. I love it. Love it, Sandra. Sandra's one of my peeps. Um, so, if you've got a kid, this is the thing, you guys. If you've got a kid that, you know, isn't super regular, has trouble going number two, this is a good thing. It's like a treat, but it also can help, you know, regulate a little bit. I know. We're talking about poop on a cooking show. Where did she... What just happened? I know. I know. I have five kids, you guys. It's all going to circle back to poop at some point. Just looking for a lid. Can we just talk about the fact that I need to redo my Tupperware? Hi, Yvonne. We're glad you're here. 
Julie says, I use my food saver daily, but only to seal cereal bags, chip bags, and other food items in bulk. Hey, but I mean, you're using it. That's a good thing, right? So I'm going to pop these in the freezer right here. And we've got five more minutes left on our, I'm just right here next to you. We've got five more minutes left on our soup. I'm super excited. Yay! Why did you mention prunes when I said I have a 90 year old dad? I'm telling you, said that. This is weird timing. <laughs> I had prunes on the brain. I had prunes on the brain. Jordan, she was here. Who was here? What was here? Haven't seen Valencia. Yeah, Valencia was here. She was here at the beginning. She popped off. That's all right. Are you kidding? Valencia wouldn't miss us. I don't think I don't think Valencia's ever missed a show. At the holidays, I make ten different veggies for dinner, and we usually have twenty people. So for sixty years, the day of the holiday, I sat and cut and cooked all the veggies and the meat. I was never able to spend time with family. Now the food saver. I bet I love that. That is such a great. That's fantastic, Kathy. Because I never would have thought about it in that context. But that makes sense. That makes sense. One of the big things I stress on my on my show and on my website is, you know, I do a lot of I do a lot of entertaining. We have people over almost every weekend and I feed them and I love it but um, for the longest time I would spend the entire time in the kitchen working on their food and I just I don't know what I do with the lid um no this is definitely the lid okay and so I kind of made it my mission a couple years ago that I was going to only do stuff that can either be made ahead or really quick or that I can say hey you over there in the pink shirt, come help me do this, get it done. And anyway, so it's been a lot better now. I wish I had some to eat now, better than the ice cream craving. Ooh, ice cream. I haven't been able to watch the whole show. Did I dip some in chocolate? We did not dip any in chocolate, no. Um, some of them were made with raisins, and some were made with apricot. That's why they are two different colors. All right, I'm just going to scoot over here. We've got three more minutes left on our soup. So our soup has... Uh, stew beef, which is why we've got it going so long. So if you didn't do the stew beef in this, you could do 10 minutes. 10 minutes on the Instant Pot would be plenty. You could probably even do, can you dip the balls in chocolate? I mean, yes, of course you can dip anything in chocolate. Um, but I wouldn't because it would kind of defeat the purpose of them being fruit and not balls. <laughs> but chocolate covered basically anything is delicious. Uh, anyway, so if you wanted to skip the meat and just use a beef bouillon for that beef flavor, you could do anywhere from two to five minutes in the Instant Pot. That would be plenty to cook the vegetables up. Um, we put stew beef in there, which requires a lot of cooking because you want um, you want it to tenderize. You want it to be super tender. You want it to like melt in your mouth. You don't want tough stew meat. So that's why we did it for 45 minutes. Um, as soon as, so, so we've got uh, stew beef, we've got um, tomato, we've got carrot, we've got potato, um, we've got green beans, and then we've got beef bouillon, and we've got um, tomato sauce. So just a plain red sauce, not like spaghetti sauce. Um, that's what's been in there for 45, pressurized for 45 minutes, total about an hour. It's at one minute left. As soon as that minute's up, we are going to actually do a quick release. I don't personally suggest quick releases for things like soup because the liquid can come up through, it can be messy, it can be a little bit more dangerous, but a natural pressure natural pressure release, natural pressure release is going to take about 10-15 minutes and I don't think you guys want to sit here and listen to me yammer on for another 10-15 minutes while we wait for the natural pressure release. So we're going to go ahead and throw caution to the wind and in about 10 seconds it'll be We'll depressurize it. We're going to lift the lid off after it depressurizes. We're going to, there it goes. Um, we're going to throw, hold on. We're going to throw our cabbage in. We're going to put the lid back on. I'm just unplugging our food processor over here so we can. Oh, I, unplug, I unplugged the wrong one. That's okay. Oh, this was already unplugged? No? Was it? I don't know. You guys, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It was done cooking, so we were going to turn it off anyway. And then I'm going to use, I'm going to scoot this out of the way. I want you guys to be able to see what happens. When you scoot it, I wish I had that bowl of cabbage raw. I don't eat it quick, but I love it raw. I like raw cabbage too. All right, you want to be really careful because you don't want to steam your face. Okay, 
Now, never, ever, ever, never, ever, 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 oh, Kathleen, you're a sweetheart. Never, ever, ever um, push the steam valve with your hands. You will end up at urgent care with really bad burns, possibly in the hospital, okay? Never do that. You always want to use spatula, a paddle, something. Can y'all see it? I don't know if you, I don't know if you can So it's going to shoot lots of steam in the air. Make sure you don't do this under your cabinet. If you've got it under your cabinet, you're going to want to just throw a washcloth or something over it to collect that steam. We're just in the middle of my kitchen, so it's fine. We're just going to humidify the place. Um, but, you know, we're going to let that steam finish up. I'm going to plug this back in so I can watch it. So who's been here since the beginning? If you have an impress. It's been a long show. Been a long show. I'll drink some water. Thank you, Sarah. I love this cup. This is not just stainless steel. It is double wall insulated. Um, I would love that one, but they scare the hell out of me. They're not scary, they're really not. So the electric pressure cookers, you guys, have so many safety features. They don't explode on you like the stovetop ones do. Really the only scary thing is the venting part, and like I said, just knock it with a spoon. It's not gonna do anything to you. Um, yeah, this is, I love this. I've got this on my um, on my gift guide. You want, I'll, I'll put a link to the gift guide, you guys. I made sure, we made the gift guide just last month when everybody asked me what I would buy somebody for Christmas if they wanted, you know, kitchen stuff. Um, so here's, just put the, I just put in the comments. Um, it's all the stuff you see on the show. It's the cup, it's the Instant Pot, it's the, um, the garlic press, it's the knife, it's the knife sharpener, it's the pans, it's all the things. It's all the things that I love. I just put it, it's going to come up as spaceships and laser beams. I do have the instant pot on my gift guide. Yeah, absolutely. And I put the exact one that I have so you would know. And there's different ones. This is, mine's the six in one. The only thing it doesn't do is it doesn't um, make yogurt. And I knew I wasn't going to make yogurt with it, so I didn't see. I went blurry. Oh, I hope that doesn't mean Facebook's going to cut out. Sometimes that's what it, the precursor to Facebook cutting out. I hope not. <laughs> It's almost done. You can hear the cups are currently unavailable. No. I'm sure. Scroll down. I'm sure they've got it from different manufacturers as well. It's hard to find the eight quart. I think the eight quart's available on Amazon. I saw it earlier today when I looked because I might have been ogling it just a little bit. Um, all right. Almost done. I did a quick release when I made a beef stew and the beef stew liquid went all over the place. Yeah, you got to be really careful when you have liquid in it, especially if you have a lot of liquid in it. I don't suggest doing the quick release when you've got, a, got it. Can you use cast iron frying pan on a glass top stove? Yes, absolutely. And that's what I do. I have my, I have a glass top stove. I use my, um, I use my cast iron on it every single day. Absolutely. Mine has the yogurt button, which I only, yeah, you pay like an extra $25 or $50 for the yogurt button. So if you're going to make yogurt, by all means, buy the yogurt one. There you go. See, it just finished pressure releasing. Um, but if you're not going to make yogurt, then don't buy the yogurt one because it costs more. All right, you can hear it. Oh, and you can see it's still boiling. Oh, let me just get this out there real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and shovel my... Cabbage in. Oh my gosh, it smells so good, you guys. It smells amazing. 
super excited about this. How does one subscribe to the show? Hold on, I'll put it in the comments. Normally, I, my assistant, I just realized my face was being covered, sorry. Um, not that you guys care about watching my face, but my assistant Kelly is normally here, and she puts all the links for us. Like, whenever I mention something, there'll be a magical link in the comments, but Kelly and her three kids are all sick, so, um, boo. So hopefully she'll be back on Thursday, though. But yeah, I'll put a link to, oh, I'll, put it, I'll put an explanation in the comments on how to sign up for the text message alerts. My husband loves when you say, I haven't sung much lately, have I? Have I? Sometimes I do. Will my kids eat the soup? About 50% of my kids will eat the soup. Not all of them. I have some that love soup, and I have some that are not super fans. Just depends. All right. I don't know if you can tell the the, um, the cabbage is already wilting, which is good, which is what we want. Okay, so all the cabbage is covered. I'm gonna put the lid back on. It actually has, oops. You can do it, April. <laughs> there it goes. Okay. It's got a timer. Nope, nope, I don't want to turn it on. Well, it has a timer, but I don't know. I'm gonna just watch the clock. We're gonna let it sit for like three to five minutes to cook up. <gasps> There's Valencia! You were being asked about, is this for dinner tomorrow night or is this for you and your family? Sure, it'll be, the kids will eat it for lunch probably tomorrow, then Annie will eat it tomorrow, I'll eat it tomorrow, I don't know. We're really bad about, <laughs> we're really bad about like designated dinners because there's always so much food the way just my business is. Um, so, I mean, we have we sit down and have family dinners, but there will be like half a roast and three pieces of chicken and a slice of ham. And so, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, what was I putting? Oh, okay, we're doing the text message alert. Okay, so you're gonna text, text, follow, follow, Live show MLF. Oop, wrong button. Two four zero four zero four, and that will get you a text message. We send that text message. Happy birthday, Valencia. We will send that text message after we do all the sharing, boring stuff at the beginning, so that you don't have to watch that. Um. So yeah. You can also get Facebook alerts. So if you go on the page, there will be a thing that says like follow, show all live alerts, um, but it's not super reliable. So this is the best way to do it because we're not always on this page. Um, ooh, you saw my red bra. Um, Tuesdays we're on Spaceships and Laser Beams and Thursdays we're on Mama Loves Food. So if you do the text message alert, you'll always get a link to where we are. And you can always see us on both pages because we crossbreed. Um, but yeah, we call those dinners making do. <laughs> yeah, those are ours 90% of the time, <laughs> but that's okay. The kids don't seem to mind. They like the variety. Although it does, I find that because we do that so often, when I do do like a singular meal, like, you know, roast chicken and veggies and the whole, you know, shebang, we sit down, they're like, well, I don't want chicken tonight. Can I have ham? Can I have this? And I'm like, no, but they're used to it because it's always usually hodgepodge. Uh, do I run both those pages? No. So Stephanie, um, Stephanie um, Keeping is is runs Spaceships and Laser Beams, my good friend, and I run Mama Loves Food. But we work together a lot. We collaborate a lot. So that's why I go back and forth. I've sent the text a few times but never received anything. Michelle, are you Michelle? Are you in the United States? Because that is a United States number. If you are in Canada or another country, it's a different number, and I will have to look it up for you. Um, if you are in the U.S. and it's not working, go ahead and shoot me a message um, on the Mama Loves Food page um, and screenshot me what you're doing and we'll try and troubleshoot it for you. All right, we've got one more minute on this and then it's going to be ready. I'm going to grab a ladle. We're going to spoon some up. Woohoo! So excited. That was my really bad dance. Never, ever, ever repeat what you just saw. <laughs> Here it goes. 
Whoa. Oh, it's so pretty, guys. It smells so good. It smells so good. OMG. OMG. What is in the soup? Shit ton of cabbage. <laughs> it's beef. It's stew beef. Potatoes. Carrots. Um, green beans. Um, 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 beef bouillon. Tomato. I don't know. A lot of stuff. <gasps> Okay, now we didn't add the seasoned salt, which we actually might not need because we did add the bouillon. So let's go ahead and taste it and see if we need to add some salt to it. It's probably crazy hot. It's good, but it does need a little bit of salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab our seasoned salt. Very good. I love that beefy flavor. I'm pretty sure the first thing I watched you make was cabbage soup. Oh, I am definitely not a diet guru. <laughs> you are probably very, very, very confused when the next week I made like a five layer cake, right? <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and add a teaspoon of seasoned salt to the big pot, and then I'll just add a little bit of salt. I'm going to stir that in. And normally I would put that in before cooking. Oops. Oops. I love you, Miss Angela. Thank you. Just going to add a touch of it to this one. Hello, Miss Sarah. Yeah, so if you, the potatoes will be very mushy. I'm not going to lie. I like that. I don't mind that. I like my, my potatoes soft. If you like your potatoes not soft, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to cut the cook time by about 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes, and um, add them when it ends, and then add another five, 10 minutes at the end um, so that your potatoes are more firm. But I, I like the mushy potatoes, so that doesn't bother me in the slightest. Good night, Miss Ashley, thanks for hanging out. I am glad you're here, Mara. Hi, Bernadette. I'm so glad you're here. You're off on Tuesdays. Yay. Thank you. Okay. Now let's try it with the... I'm afraid I'm going to burn my tongue. Y'all, I hate burning my tongue. Mmm. No, good. Oh, it's really good. Perfect. All I needed was a touch of salt. I'm so happy. All right, this recipe will be up on the website soonish at some point. I don't know. I don't know. I'll try to get it up. Not a lot of things get up. I've got taxes. I'm up to here in taxes right now. OMG, you guys. Bookkeeping is not my style. Anyway, on the menu for Thursday, I have no idea. I know, I need to start with, I need to make a content calendar so I can tell y'all what we're making ahead of time, but I don't have one right now. Anyway, you guys, it's been lovely. You're all beautiful. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this gorgeous Tuesday night. I would love if you clicked through to the recipes and took a look at our website, do some searches, click the recipe index. There's tons of recipes, literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of recipes. Um, cheesecake, I have never made a cheesecake, you guys, ever. Um, yeah. Pop over, comment, say hi, tell me what you love. Um, make sure to like the page Mama Loves Food on Facebook. Also like this page, Spaceships and Laser Beams. Um, sign up for our text message alerts. And if you love the gadgets we're using today, go ahead and click through to the gift guide and check out all the things I recommend for the kitchen. And if you love the jewelry, there's a link for that as well. So have a wonderful night and I will see you guys on Thursday.